Welcome back, Kapil here. Today I am here to review Crucial X8 Portable SSD, 1TB SSD. This is a 1TB SSD that I have been using since February for all my video editing tasks. Uh, as you can see on my screen, uh, I bought it on 17th February, so I have been using it since February. Uh, I got it for around 10,300 rupees and the current price is 9,799 and there is a coupon code also available so you can get additional 500 rupees discount so it cost almost 9000 rupees right now so without any further delay let's dig in and let's find out what this ssd is capable of so this is a basically very very compact disc with very good build quality it's sort of metallic material and it's very lightweight I can easily keep it in a pocket or something and carry it anywhere I want this disc is basically meant for video editors usually who want to edit uh, like large video files on the move because uh, if you try to edit directly on your laptop or computer disc uh, it basically reduces the life of the internal disc so it's best to always use an external SSD because this external SSD are comparatively cheaper than the internal SSD or the internal disk that come with your laptop. So I have been using this. The main reason to buy this disk is to get good uh, disk uh, read and write performance. So let's dive in and simply check out what kind of performance or what kind of result this disk can give or what kind of disk I.O. does this particular SSD gives. This disk is basically compatible via USB-C as well as USB-A. Since I'm using a MacBook Pro, it does not have a USB-A port and I want to show you its result, what kind of disk I.O. you can expect if you're using a USB-A port. Now this particular system does not have a USB a port so what i'm doing is i'm using a usb a hub which is connected to the usb c port on my macbook pro so i'm connecting it over here via this usb c to usb a hub and then let's find out what kind of result it gives okay the disk is already connected and detected so i'm going to just start black magic disk test over here, let's select the target drive. Okay, Crucial X8, the disk is selected. And let's do some test. So if we are using a USB-A port, or basically if we are connecting the disk via USB-A and not USB-C, it is giving close to 400 megabytes per second read as well as write. It keeps varying a little bit, but it's very close. Okay, so we have seen what kind of result we get via USB-A. Now let's see what kind of result it can give if we connect via USB-C or Thunderbolt port. So I will just first eject the disk and now I am going to connect it via USB-C. First, let me check whether disk is detected. Okay, the disk is detected. Uh, and in black magic, now I will select target drive as crucial X8 again. Uh, let's start the test again. See the difference. Now is going close to 850 megabytes per second for read as well as write. See the huge difference. So basically the company I think advertise uh, for a disk I.O. of around 1000 uh, megabytes per second and this is giving like very close to it. So I think this is actually really good. So basically we are getting close to 800 Mbps, 850 Mbps read as well as write. So this is actually a very extremely fast disk. Uh, I have never faced any issues while editing any videos on Final Cut Pro as long as it's connected via USB-C or Thunderbolt. But if I connect it via USB-A, then I start having buffering problems in Final Cut Pro while editing. 
so if you plan to get this kind of disk for video editing make sure you have usb c or thunderbolt port in your system whether it's windows or mac does not matter but usb c and usb a performance makes a huge difference the disk is capable to give you close to 1000 megabytes per second but you need to have a system that can actually max the performance of this disk uh, so i hope it will help you in a decision whether you should buy this disk or not my personal opinion is this is a very very good portable ssd you should definitely go for it if it is of any use to you and one more thing make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video because very soon i will even uh, uh, give you a review or my opinion for samsung t7 1tb portable ssd and not only this i am going to give soon very uh, soon give you reviews of more uh, drives i have more uh, in my stock so i will be reviewing them for you very soon so again i hope you like the video make sure to like the video do subscribe to the channel and let me know in comment what kind of video you want me to give you next so tada for now see you in the next video